Welcome to iHeartBeat. And welcome to another episode of iHeartGeek. Wow. How did we get a dog in here? That was, I don't know. <laughs> that was a little creepy. It's a weird sort of Matrix moment. You know when you see the dog again, you're wondering if you've done this already a few times? I think so. And when you see the dog again, you wonder if he's seen it a few times? It's back. Uh, oh. We've just started and it's already gone to the dog. Things have changed. Ah, ah, I should save these jokes for the Henson verse. We have a huge amount of people in here today because we are doing two different ensemble uh, casts on this episode and next episode. We do have a huge amount of yeah, people in we here. Have a, we have it's six like, people here today. It's like a six sex tuplet or something like something that. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll just leave it at that. Okay. <laughs> so let's go around the table real quick. Um, before we do that, real though, we are talking about women of DC, and they're because we do have our uh, our our feminine uh, representation representation at the table today. So I wanted to make sure that everyone was aware of that one. Well, Bly, yeah, Bly. So yes, yeah, so absolutely. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm Dub, and I'm your producer. And then to our left, we have... I'm Blyce. I'm the YouTube guy and kind of the background dude. Nice. I'm Miss Geeky Page, and I'm part of the feminine representation. <laughs> <laughs> Along with Blyce. Along with Blyce. Yeah. That kind of hurts. Oh, I don't man. know. <laughs> I'm your friendly neighborhood coach. Cool. And uh, I do stuff and things and... Things, things and, and stuff. stuff and yeah you're also the master of the hanging sentence yes because you do that and then we all go and we're waiting and waiting and waiting and stop dangling participles i feel good okay there you go. <laughs> did everyone get their shot in outstanding mm. i'm katie may and i guess i'm the oracle of the group today oh, oh. very nice nice good call that works 20 minutes later <laughs> i'm <laughs> i'm uh pb and jason and i'm uh the uh, I'm not the curmudgeon of the group anymore. I've shed that title so long ago. Oh, that's been gone. For, I, yeah. I, I forgot about that. So I guess I'm the. I'll be the. I just turned fifty. So I'm the wizened old guy mm. of the show. Oh, so that, you're, that you are the oldest guy of the, the show now. The, the, I am. The, well, let's no, Todd. Let's Todd. Todd, guess. Todd is older no. than you. Let's oh, Todd okay. guess. Then it's okay. But sans the presence of Todd, I am the wizened old guy of the mm. show. <laughs> Outstanding. Um, okay, so iHeartGeek today is brought to you by the single most ridiculous piece of female clothing in all of comics, the boob window. Mm. Um, <laughs> my, my notes say red, ridiculous, ridiculous. It, it, yeah, well, you know what my, my thing always uh, spell Auto, checks autocorrect, that? It's yeah, really it's, weird. It okay. spells it wrong. But yeah. <sighs> yeah, what can you the say about window? that? The boob window? The boob window. What are, what are your guys' thoughts on that? I mean, this, that's kind of an interesting topic without going too deep into it. Do you guys have any thoughts on that? I find it to be icky. It's fan I, service. That's a word I use a lot. But uh, I was in a Comic Con once, and uh, there was a, a talk. Once, go, talk, well, a few times, but okay. this particular one time there was a talk going on, and the subject of the ridiculousness of the boob window mm-hmm. came up, and I suggested that for equal opportunity they should create the ball window. And therefore, it would all even out. <laughs> well, but, as one of the females in the room, the room <laughs> thank I you can tell you, we happening. don't really care what that part of you looks like. If we're going to get something that's along the line of the boob window, let's have the butt shield. The butt yes, window. The butt, the butt shield. The butt shield. Ooh. America's backside. All right. right. Because America's hiney would take on a whole new meaning. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, like, when I was 12, it was the greatest thing ever. But now that I'm in my 40s, yeah, just it's not, it's tasteless. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a fan service for mm-hmm. a demographic of 12 main, to 25. Yeah, okay, 12 to 25 <laughs> male. And now that demographic has changed since the boob window was created. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. back then, that's what you had. You had a bunch of young men reading comics, and that pushed books off the shelf well I, I do have to say this i don't know if you guys know the history of the power girl boob window i, I, I think i've said it on the show before yeah i think we talked about it during the wonder woman yeah i, I gotta throw this out yeah. it's, it's an interesting story um what happened was the writer of that was seeing how far he could push the envelope so every every issue he would make power girls boobs a little bit bigger and the window would be a little more pronounced this went on for like I think four to five months. So finally, the editor said, um, "This is that's that's enough. That's ridiculous." And that's where they stopped. Hmm. I just know it's 
physically impossible to run or jump in that thing. Well, but she flies too. Yeah, so. what is the function of it? That's my question. Well, I'm sorry. If she holds her hands over her head to, to fly, they're going to fly somewhere else. <laughs> I did like it when Harley Quinn made made the Power Girls suit. Yeah, that was good. (laughs) Like every time I see a Power Girl at Comic Con, I just go, "Oh, honey." (laughs) <laughs> I'm just I'm just worried about her back. Like, oh my god! I mean, well, like it's a good thing she has superpowers. <laughs> right. right? She has a really strong v- ven- back. ventilation. <laughs> yeah, Titanium's isn't that why? Fine. Right. <laughs> for for whatever whatever for people want to take out of it. I, I, don't I think it's to sell more comics. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so now, with that being said, uh, with so much time and so many DC universe reboots, um, how do we feel about the evolution of some of our favorite DC female characters? Are they the best version now? Were they the best? Can they be better? I think it's a good first step. I think they're taking strides into making um, making females as equal uh, female superheroes as equal as male superheroes. But I still feel that they they still do like it. And Wonder Woman was great. The, the movie Wonder Woman was great, but it's still because they put it back in the fifties. They still had to deal with the trope of like, well, you can't do this because you're a female. And she's like, oh yes, I can. And uh, and she she had to prove she didn't have to prove herself, but she had to prove herself over and over again. But with the Wonder Woman example being in the fifties, I think that was actually a better example of what it's they were trying to shoot for. Yeah, I was yeah, like, this would be World, World War One. World War One. <laughs> <World War I. laughs> <laughs> <Y'all knew laughs> but, but, but 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 it's still to the point that you know, you like you every like they have to. Mm-hmm. She has to even even though that she doesn't have to. She always in order. F- for the movie to progress, she has to show that she is better. She is equal to a man. I think it made a. I was better storytelling by having her do that. Right. At, um, I did put in uh, for my notes, like uh, one of my favorite ones was Apocalypse, uh, Superman, Batman, Apocalypse, mm-hmm. because she came after Superman to get to get uh, Kara, and she was not backing down. Like that's that's what they need to get to. That's what all of them need to get to. To uh, all the women need to get to in order to. It's to be equal and to be even feared, like yeah, you respect her. And mm-hmm. that, that's the thing. The Wonder Woman in the comics is very different than the cinematic Wonder Woman that we've ever seen. Mm-hmm. We'll get her there to that, that point, but she's never been. She is a character to be feared. Um, yeah. She's not the whole Linda Carter, I don't want to hurt you. Wonder Woman will throw down and she'll break a neck if she has to. Mm-hmm. She has no qualms about killing. And and I think to a certain extent we see they that I, I'm men that's that's generalizing, I know, and that's not what I mean by that, but men don't assume that women could be as violent as Wonder Woman can be. But those of us who read comics, like everybody at this table, mm-hmm. and people who are of our age are starting to understand more that, that it is an acceptable thing with her. So I think you're absolutely right at getting to that point. But one thing that I think that you've really did hit on this is um, they are that that character works well as being that. Yeah. Black Canary would not fit that. No, she couldn't be. And she couldn't be. No. And I, I don't want that character to be like that. I don't no. want to generalize all-powerful woman. I want... Wonder Woman to be Superman different. And Wonder I want, Woman has her weaknesses and her flaws yeah, too. So I and, mean, the, like, and it has to. But I don't yeah. like the generalized, well, every woman has to do this. I'm like, no. I, no. I think they've done a good job at Different characters mm-hmm. have different strengths. They yeah. play to those strengths, and it's not a bad thing to have strengths and weaknesses. Well, I, I, I kind of disagree with that just a little bit, especially with Black Canary, because Black Canary's been built up now to be like the the tactical fighter. Of like a Batman. The just, yeah, yeah, the Justice League, where, like, yeah, like even with a Young Justice, mm-hmm. like uh, Connor Kent goes over. He is far in a way stronger as far as being a Kryptonian could take her down in a second but she manages to out use his weight against him and is I, I, I would be feared of her but that's why fearful. that's why she was teaching them and that's yeah. and that's kind of a general consensus they have throughout the Justice League like well you guys can all do this this is how we train and you know girl guy doesn't matter this is how you train but going back I'd say it's just the strengths and weaknesses I think that I like them being pushed differently um, and to say not man woman character character, mm-hmm. if that makes sense. So I, yeah. I think we I think we've come a long way in that. That's where I'm happy. On the way stuff. I look at it for the um, the idea of like female characters independent strong female characters. I always go back to to Princess Leia because I think she was one of the best examples um, at a time before it was the norm of a character who had her own 
aura and strength and charisma that did not feed off of the males around her and was not bolstered by the males around her. It was it just was. It existed. It existed in that same space without feeding or having to be fed. She's and a I, whole person. Exactly. And I think that that should be... And I think they actually did come close with the Wonder Woman movie. Mm -hmm. I think that she was mm -hmm. the, the closest thing to the, to the Leia ideal that I've seen yet. Um, and I hope that they can get there. Yeah. And I mean, I think the Wonder Woman thing sums it up. She basically tells Steve, there's a line in there where he's, he's like, you can't do this. She goes, what I do is nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, that's not exactly the line, but it's, it's true. Mm -hmm. And she's basically telling her main male counterpart, you don't get to decide what I get to do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do what I have to. And so I think, but I think a lot of the DC characters and a lot of female characters have kind of gotten that way, but it's taken time just as, just as females in general in society have changed their roles, mm -hmm. females in comic books have changed their roles. I mean, one thing that I think about is originally when Batman, Batwoman showed up, her, her weapons were concealed in lipstick and hair nets yeah. and her purse. <laughs> Oh. And now she has grappling hooks and yeah. ninja stars and all these amazing stuff. She has the same tools of but, the trade that Batman yeah, has. Yeah, she has the same right? tools. Yeah. But back then when she first appeared, those are the things a woman would have at hand. Now, mm -hmm. not so much. Rolling like, pins, irons. <laughs> right, like the evolution of the female superhero is really kind of like the evolution of mm -hmm. females in our society yeah, in general. Yeah, I can see that. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, just, a and a pretty good mirror. You yeah. Know? I say, I just, uh, my only fear kind of what I was hitting on earlier is I don't want it, the pendulum to swim, swing so far that every woman is just the ultimate badass and they're all powerful as Hulk and blah, 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 blah. No, I like characters being the character. And yeah, I, I see what you're saying. You know, mm -hmm. things do change with time and people... Yeah. Right. Things need to change with the times, period. Well, However, I want the characters to still be the characters. And that's, you know, when, when we see all the change of characters, that's where most people are flipping out is... Yeah. You know, this isn't the character that I love anymore. Uh, yeah, make them more powerful. That's great. It's I want the character that I fell in love with for 20 years. Yeah, I also no. think in terms of the like the cinematic universes, a lot of the problem is, and this is something we're seeing with She-Hulk right now, is people don't understand and don't know the character, mm -hmm. and they're assuming that something is being done for a reason. Like, I don't know how many comments I saw on the internet that said, oh, well, now we have to... Make a make a female Hulk just because <laughs> character's been around since 1980. Guys, read yeah. a comic. Right. <laughs> well, <laughs> casual fans, you know. Right. It's yeah. but screw it's, them. Right. No, it's I'm like, kidding. but it's like don't 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 start screaming and saying something is being done for a reason if you don't have all of the information. Oh yeah. Well, and, and, well, hate like, the character. Oh, that would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> hate the character. I'm not saying you can't hate She-Hulk. I'll fight you. <laughs> well, it's, it's the same thing with uh, Batwoman as well. Like exactly. with Ruby Rose. Exactly. Like, you know, it's, they came out and it's like, oh my gosh, you're going to make Batwoman into a lesbian? She, she has been she, for a she long, she long, 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 long time. Like, yeah. Ruby, yeah. Rose, Ruby Rose was so upset because of all of the the nastiness on the internet that she disabled her Twitter and her Instagram yeah. because yeah. of it. Well, you know what? If everybody would do that, I think we'd be a better society. Social media reality. might be a little <laughs> liffy at times. Because that just brings out but the worst of people a lot of times. you would never get any listener feedback. That would suck. It's true. We would so have everything people. but our show <laughs> stop. Uh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, that would actually get to grow our audience. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, and with that, let's move on to the game show. Here's a generic game show for you. Okay, I got a fun game show for you, everybody, today. <laughs> are, fun. We, are we going to be friends after this? Is Probably this going to be another not. one of those shows? Probably not. I have a feeling that everyone's going to kill me, so goodbye, listeners. <laughs> <laughs> What's the middle name of Aqua? Let me, just, let me just say briefly, <laughs> it's I, I heard some, some shade about the Spider-Man game show that I did. Nobody at this table has any grounds to be giving me shade about my Spider-Man game show. I would say Spider this one's better. I have never made a game show. This is pretty so hard. I well, okay, you. Her you can name is shape. Clarice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, the game show deals with obviously the women of DC, and every question is about one specific DC female. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Number one. In the Flashpoint storyline from 2011, who did Mira attack and why? Cause. 
Oh, you let me do it because I have the best answer. You do have the best answer. (laughs) Uh, She was, she confronted Wonder Woman for Sheboygan Aquaman. Yes. That's exactly why. Yeah, that's family friendly. Okay, good. (laughs) If you have to explain it to your kids and they won't know, I figure it's okay. Well, when a man and a woman love each other. (laughs) Birds and bees, you see. I probably will only get a half point because I didn't put Sheboinkin. Um, Just (laughs) Wonder Woman because of Aquaman. I'm going to give you the point. (laughs) I was struggling with that one because I thought that, but then I wrote something else because it's been a long time since I read that. I wrote Aquaman to set him straight. Nope. (laughs) Mm Nope. You get points for the Aquaman part, but... <laughs> oh, she, Mara, attacked yeah, Aquaman. Yeah, but it's be- Aquaman's involved in the answer somehow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dub. Wonder Woman. Aquaman, yeah. Or, yeah, please. Sheboinking. 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 Uh, I, had, I had no idea, so I put Martha Wayne because she was the Joker. <laughs> That's oh, a yeah. you know, I, I told you, I'll let you read my comicsology, man. I have all of <laughs> this in there. <laughs> bonus, what did Wonder Woman do to her? Oh, she cut off her head. Yep, cut off her head and took took her took her crown. Took her crown. Yep. All right. Like mm. what? <laughs> like what you gonna do? I I can't wait until they put that in the movie. Mm. Number two, Wonder Woman is originally supposed to be called by what name? Cause Princess Diana. <laughs> no, she's already Princess Diana. The Princess Diana. <laughs> no, Katie. <laughs> I was like Wonder Gal. No, <laughs> no. I, I wrote Hippolyta. No. Oh, that's, that's her, her mom, mother. Though. Yeah, I know, but I thought maybe they. Yeah. That's you know. your Martha. That's a good guess, though. Okay. That's her Princess Diana. Nope. Oh, but the great Amazonian. No. <laughs> mom? Suprema. Martha. Suprema. Suprema. Uh, Suprema. The, the, edit, Aquaman. The, the editor told Marston <laughs> Yuniki that's terrible. That yeah, is really else. bad. So, bad so they called her Wonder Woman. <laughs> I think we would have forgotten about Wonder Woman a long time ago. Okay, so. Number three, in 1950, what happened to the Catwoman character? Gosh. I put she died. She fell down a mountain crevasse. <laughs> no, but she get points for crevasse. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually that I, I remember that the original Batman, the 60s Batman, before they turned it into like the campy one, mm-hmm. that, that episode was, I think it was... It wasn't Eartha Kid, it was a Julie Newmar. Louis Julie that Newmar they, they like she was falling they were in a mountainside or something and like Batman was holding her and she she fell. Mm-hmm. Like she he let her go or, or Down something. Crevasse. Like that. Nice try though. Crevasse. I like how you justified it. The cravat. <laughs> no, but no, that's true. No, I'm saying that's wrong. It's not wrong. It's not right, but okay. that episode happened. Is that what you put wine in? A crevasse? Y- yes. <laughs> crevasse. Oh wow. <laughs> I said she got a real name. No. Okay. That's a good thought, though. <laughs> Maybe. Um, I put she officially got her name. Nope. Hmm. Uh, she appeared in print. Nope. Well, Live. she did. Uh, she Cat fell did. off the side of the mountain and then was revived by cats. Into no. a crevasse. <laughs> while, while drinking the milk. Yeah. <laughs> she was banned by the Comics Code Authority. Oh. For having a boob window. And her book was shelved until the 1960s. Wow. Why was she? She was too hot? Because she was never punished for her crimes. Oh. She made crime look cool. Yeah. And, and she, she flirted with Batman. And she smoked cigarettes. <laughs> Literally, that's why. <laughs> and she was sexy. Because she made out with Bobby in the back (laughs) (laughs) number four when did batwoman appear so what year and what was she originally created for I put 2012. I don't think that's right. <laughs> no. Um, which, and I, I really don't know her origin, but I, I remember the the animated version where like Batman was missing. So she. You're off by 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 a few years. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, I put 84 and uh, sex appeal. Sort of dates wrong, but sort of. I put the 60s because I didn't know what to do. So if I have to, so if I had to, so okay, so I'll say 62, which is probably not right. But she was definitely created as a romantic interest for Batman. That's exactly right. You got the wrong time period, but that's exactly why she was created. So you get a point. Thank you. 70s because of the Batman thing. Yeah. What? Well, what Batman thing? Well, she was to to be a (laughs) to be a girlfriend. To be be a Vicky Vale. To make Catwoman jealous. (laughs) Uh, I put 73 and. 
I put advertisement, and I was kind of thinking of like what you had mentioned earlier about how all of her gear was mm-hmm. like different lipsticks and stuff. I didn't know if she maybe was slated mm-hmm. in to be like a <laughs> advertisement, like a product line. Oh, yeah, exactly. Cool. Yeah, like product placement that on a, a good, character. That was a good that's thought. Actually, that's she was solid. with the like superhero it. Wilco. <laughs> it's 1956, <laughs> and oh, she wow. was wow. she was literally created as a love interest for Batman because. A psycholo- psychologist, Fred Worthington, quote, detected, unquote, a romantic code between Batman and Robin. Oh. So they oh, created oh. Batwoman. Oh. To Did more damage to comic that. books than anything. Oh, I see. Yep. So they, they created Batwoman to counteract that. Was, was that also because cat because they shelved Catwoman as well? Yeah, she wasn't. Catwoman was around at well, the so, time. Yeah. I mean, so because yeah, Catwoman so was, was his, his love interest, yeah. but now. Can't, okay. but she was gone, so they had to give men her something. love each other without there being a well, the pedophile oh, thing, you know. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. Okay. So that's she was literally the. Yep, yeah, that's why she was created. That's true. Okay, so number five. Let's in what one. limited series was Supergirl killed off? It was episode. It was a uh, comic number eight of <laughs> Crisis on Infinite Earths. Yes, good job, Katie. Um, it was comic number eight. No, I, I, I wrote down Crisis on Infinite Earths. I didn't know the comic okay, number. Same, Crisis on Infinite Earths. Crisis on Infinite Earth. Dog. Same. Blaz. Yeah. Sweep it. Sweep it. It's 1985, if anybody cares. Okay. Great year. When Robin number, went from being blonde to being brunette. Yeah. Number six. What female character looks like a steampunk, gender-bent version of the Joker? Kaj. Um, Martha Wayne. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Answer's always Martha Wayne. Your name's Martha Or Cheetah. No, I, I, I told you I was going to put Cheetah for everything. There you go. Cheetah. Cheetah. <laughs> I'm sticking to it. Martha. Jester. No. <laughs> no idea. Uh, I wrote Crazy Jane, but that's not true. No. Joker's daughter. Yes. Not really Joker's daughter, however. No. Okay, but I but I'll go. I'll go that in a second. Her comic name is Joker's daughter. Her title. One of it. One of her. She's known oh, okay. as. The yeah, Joker's in, in the bathroom she's there is the Joker's daughter. Several huh. as by several names. I think yeah, it's on the left wall. I would have never got that. Harley Quinn. No. Yes. <laughs> her name is Dulia Dent. Yep. Oh. She found. Oh. She found Dulia Joker's Dent. face when he cut oh, his face off. Is she relationship? Put it on. No. They don't know because her backstory is so muddled. Because she lies she about refers everything. To her, well, she refers so to herself Joker. as... Oh. Worse. Well, yeah. she refers to herself as the Joker's daughter. She also mm-hmm. refers to herself as the Riddler's daughter, as Catwoman's daughter, as Scarecrow's daughter. Pick a villain in the Batman universe and she will claim to be that villain's daughter. Just maybe you she's know, like Cell and she's just made of pieces of all of them. Talk to she's called the villainess. But she loves villains. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. She just loves villains. Yeah. But when she's wearing Joker's literal face yeah, it's she creepy. literally is tacked wearing, to her yeah. face yeah, I, I've yeah. seen it I just I I've seen that image that yeah, yeah it's, it's a that's a Grant that's Morrison name. creation is no. no 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 that was after the new 52 right was after the new yeah, 52, right? after new 52. Okay. I remember I when think they, it was Snyder I believe it's Snyder. Yeah, I, when Bat- I, didn't think, I didn't think Snyder could go that dark. It, oh, wow. Did you read the Batman Capullo run? Well, she's <laughs> the Snyder Capullo run? Not all of it. I, Court of Owls and like, Death, yeah, of, the fam- Death of the Family. But she's not, a not horrid, that. horrid character. She will like, literally, if you go too far, she will give you nightmares. So she's your number one on the list today, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> she is now. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay, number seven, and this is a several-part question. How many live action Black Canaries have they been? If you can give me the number that there are, you get a point. If you can name, I don't need their actual name names, that what they've been in. If you can name me the shows, you get points for that as well. So there's a possibility of one, two, three, four, five points oh, wow. for this. Gosh. Oh, wow. There's actually, I take that back. There's four. Uh, there's four. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, well, def- most of them are in the Arrowverse, but then. One of the black canaries turned into white canary, and then she went into the Legends of Tomorrow. No, you are wrong on all counts except for the Arrowverse part. Okay, <laughs> Katie, I put three, and uh, Laurel and Sarah from Arrow is the only ones I can name. You get so, cause you got one for the for the Arrowverse, by the Hooray. way. Um, you get one point because there are three in Arrow. Um, I wrote four. Okay. Um, the two in Arrow. I wrote two in Arrow. Um, I wrote one from Birds of Prey. 
Mm -hmm. And I wrote one from Linda Carter's Wonder Woman era. Okay, you get one for Birds of Prey and one for Arrow, so you get two points. There was no bir there was no Black Canary in Wonder Woman. Okay. So you get two. I got Birds of Prey in Flash times two. It's not in Flash. Arrow. 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 <laughs> you knew what I meant. I know, but you said Flash. <laughs> You're still winning. Anyways, good. Uh, so there's three in Arrow. Mm -hmm. uh, so Laurel, Sarah, I can't remember the other Diana. lady's name. Diana. Um, <laughs> there's you just Because you just told me. Right. <laughs> um, Birds of Prey. Um, Smallville, right? Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, yeah. And that, that's all I got. Okay, so you got three. Nice job. There are six. Mm. There are three in Arrow. Mm -hmm. Sarah, Laurel, and Dinah. There's one in Smallville, there was one in Birds of Prey, and then there was one in The Legends of the Superheroes in 1979 on NBC. Oh, mm. okay. We always go back to that one because no one saw it. <laughs> <laughs> and my two. game shows are hard. <laughs> I was two. I've never seen it. And she looked weird. I looked at the picture. Okay, number eight. Last one. Zatanna is known as what in the DC universe? She's been given some sort of title by DC Comics. What is that title, Taj? I have no idea, but I'm going to take a shot in the dark and say she is the master of order. No, but that's cool. <laughs> she is Joker's daughter's daughter. That's cool, no. too, but that's no. Good try. <laughs> the protector of the multiverse. No, that, oh. that's good, too. No, that's dub. Okay. dub. The sexy lady. I don't nope. know. Nope. <laughs> Blind. Uh, the master of the mystic arts. No, that's good, too. <laughs> She's actually known as the greatest minor hero. Huh. Because she huh. has appeared in many of the major storylines, but never has had her own book. She's never uh, had her own book? Wait a minute. She She's... has. When? It's, it's been in the New 52. She had it. Does it count? <laughs> you know, we'll get to that later, but no, I'm. So she's I'm known just as going the, off of Oh, it, no, what? what? No, she was just part of Justice had, League Dark. So, yeah, so she's known as the greatest minor hero, minor hero in the DC in universe? In the DC comics. Like they universe. call her that? Yep, it's that's Zatanna, her official. The greatest minor hero. Well, not in the comics, but they refer to DC minor, Comics refers minor. to her the greatest minor hero oh. because she's never had her own book, but she's been involved in most, if not all, of the major storylines that have okay. been there. Are you sure she's not the protector of the multiverse? Okay, so we don't need the extra. Question. Say oh, no. it anyway. Oh, Say it anyway. Still, no, still, I want to do it. Do, do, do we have time? Okay. Number nine. In order to prove her worthiness, Wonder Woman was asked to do what before she joined the Justice League? Sell her invisible jet. <laughs> no, Katie. <laughs> Make coffee. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Beat up Superman. <laughs> no, but I would love to see That'd that. Be fun. Stop a bullet. Dub, no. <laughs> Pick up what? Mjolnir. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. She had to perform 12 labors like Hercules. Oh. What? Wow. That's <laughs> terrible. Who the heck was in the Justice League at that time? Everybody but Alan Wonder Alan Scott. Woman. <laughs> Everybody but Wonder Woman. Wonder oh, Woman. I love the Mjolnir one. Like, you know. <laughs> I could just see like Superman's like she does. Yeah, pick it like up. I don't want yeah, her. You here. guys like, know oh, that she does some, like, pick crazy it up. And, uh, she actually picks it up twice. Yeah, okay. and, and she, she gives it back <laughs> because she feels that it would be unworthy of her to test her own worthiness to hold Mir Mir. That's I'm not even making no, this I know. up. No, yeah. yeah. He's looking at me like no. Made, I've, no. I've that's seen why it. she yeah. gave it back because she's like no. That's my girl. Okay, so with five points, our winner is. Yeah. Finally, oh, back on top. Now, the birds of prey question or the lacanary question saved your Yeah, mind it did. I was zero. <laughs> Lies had none. <laughs> then he did that one and he tied with PB in second place. Oh, nice. Nice. Uh, Katie, you beat your husband. All right, that's all I know. Oh, no, wait, Every Katie, night. Katie and Kaj, you guys are tied. I'm sorry. Oh. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah. She can beat her husband later. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's tied oh, up, God. so I mean, hey. Every night. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't bad. Interesting. <laughs> that was okay. torture. What are you oh. talking about? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we all know who the Wonder Woman in the family is. Let me I'll just say that. <laughs> okay, let's uh, move on to one of our other little topics we have here. Um, female creators. What is our favorite female creators and what some of the arts that they've created? What is your favorite? And I got to throw out this one. Gail Simone, for my money, sits up there in the Pantheon with yep. Jeff Johns and... Uh, Snyder and everybody out there now. Well, especially on her um, Secret Six run. Oh yeah, 
I don't think there. I don't think that there's anybody that's above her in that pantheon. I had her listed for Birds of Prey. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Do you Did know she she, bl- she blocked me on Twitter. Did yeah, she? Simone did. She, she blocks a lot of people. She follows me on Twitter. She blocked Twitter. me on Twitter. <laughs> she blocked me on Twitter because she made a comment about how she doesn't care for the doors. Oh. And uh, <laughs> several people, including myself, kind of called her edgy, and then she blocked us. <laughs> yeah, don't don't disagree with her. She'll probably insane. unblock you eventually. She oh, does maybe. that. She gives the reasons. When she hears yeah. this, she'll feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> no, I yeah, I love her. Her run for Red Sonia was great. Mm-hmm. Her Birds of Prey. Her Wonder Woman is like the stuff of legend and she was a consultant on the movie so yeah didn't no. she also do deadpool did yeah she write deadpool? did she do a deadpool yeah she, she like actually at the managed she also wrote for punisher she's um, done everybody but she yeah she's actually credited with pulling deadpool out of the trash <laughs> and making it an amazing oh she took him right before um Oh, that was right weird when uh, Lee, guy. when Lee yeah. Field kind of yeah went after, after, after Lee Field oh, yeah Lee Field yeah. yeah but she she's credited with kind of saving Deadpool mm-hmm. yeah you just so. did a PB that was awesome I know <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just kind of when she's going the one on. that she's the one that, because she's the one that uh, in, uh, implemented him breaking the fourth wall and like mm-hmm. talking was to the she audience the one? yes mm-hmm. really yeah. oh wow okay. I remember when we did I the have Deadpool a whole episode. respect yeah. for her then yeah that's awesome I also love the fact that like some of the best Punisher books comes out of a female that's awesome I mean because she wrote for Punisher as well, and well, see, this, this is something I yeah. I really do respect about her. She can write the male perspective as well as she can write the yeah. female, yeah. and that takes talent. She's well, very well, good. like you were saying, mm-hmm. like it's not it's it doesn't matter if it's male or female. Mm-hmm. It's character she wrote. Yeah. She for understands. The mm-hmm. She yeah. loves the, person. the characters. Yeah, yeah. you know. So, uh, yeah, there's two I'd like to add to that list. Um, Devin Grayson mm-hmm. is one that I'm very fond of. Her work on. Um, Nightwing, Gotham Knights, uh, her Nightwing Huntress miniseries is amazing. Um, and also, for the one book that I know that she did, Louise uh, Simonson, who was one of the architects of the death of Superman. Yeah. Oh. Um, and she's um, amazing. I've got two I'd like to add. G. Willow Wilson um, for giving us Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, Kelly C. McCormick for this most recent iteration of captain marvel we can step out of dc yeah oh okay (laughs) he's a female creator so i'm assuming okay then i also have to add robin firth who uh did the dark tower for marvel and two two women uh kieran may might pronounce it karen gillen and jamie mcelvey mcelvey who did uh, the wicked and the divine um i don't know if any of you guys have seen that one Mm -hmm. that is an artistic buffet it is amazing i kind of misunderstood the question so i w- i went with lois lane <laughs> <laughs> the best female Thinking, writer well, i get it yeah. well i feel lois lane could be an well it's a story arc I, th- I thought it said story like what's the best female story yeah. arcs and oh, i was okay. like well oh, that's i'm like lois lane by far i mean oh, yeah. just w- with her be starting out as like the damp like being being a little bit sarcastic like a little sassy but like always superman always have to save her to now She's saving him and just being like stepping into her own and not t- not taking anybody's BS and stuff mm-hmm. and you know had like having Jonathan Jonathan uh, her having having a baby and mm-hmm. you know it's yeah like she she has come leaps and bounds from from where she started off at back in the mm-hmm. uh, back in the fifties yeah how about you. You, you guys all just named everybody that I had. Oh, you mind, had it. So. We just we, we we filled out your. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was just like, no, we're good. We're good. I figured Katie and I would probably have the same one. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. Oh, okay, we're about to jump into our um, list listener feedback section, but I do have to say this because I didn't say it in the beginning, and I apologize. This episode was written by one PB and Chase. Oh, good hey. job, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. It was a it was a, a good topic. So yeah, yes. I gave you an easy one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's move on to our listener feedback. And now, let's see what all of our geek rock stars have to say. On this listener feedback, we did our question, which is a pretty simple one. Um, your favorite woman in DC Comics ever and why? Um, I had to take out about 12 different ones because (laughs) they didn't tell me why they just gave me answers so i apologize if you didn't get your name or your comment read today but i was trying to go for 
it's to say you're going to get mentioned on the show if you tell us why. Right, because if you just wrote Joker's daughter, sorry, you're out of luck. <laughs> She's great. great. If, if you wrote <laughs> Joker's daughter wrote. and that's your favorite, I don't think I want. It. I want you, you to Wonder delete Woman. me from Twitter. Right, you scare the question, me. The answer's in the question. If you wrote Wonder Woman, like enough said. Oh, there you go. Right. Well, there was one person that said Wonder Woman, but I took her off because she's on the panel. <laughs> I don't know who that would have been. Okay, so technically, I didn't say it. I believe it was a gift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm missing my Twitter one, and I apologize. And I think we had an Instagram one, and I think I lost it. No, I didn't have an Instagram one this time. But yeah, I know we had two Twitters that I can't find for whatever reason. Um, so I'm just going to do our Facebook. Um, let's start with Daniel Houston said Wonder Woman. She's the epitome of badass. I love you, Daniel. One of my favorite things about her character is that she isn't defined by her love interest or anything else for that matter. Here, here, Daniel. Well said. Uh, that guy's got a good head on his shoulders. Yes, yeah. <laughs> he does. He does. Just because he agrees with you all the time. All the I've time. <laughs> He's uh, actually a really good guy. He is a really good guy, yes. Friend of the show, uh, Christina Belden, who actually will be on the show in October. So nice. For an episode, yes, coming in through town. Nice. She asked, can I please be on? I'm like, yes, you can be on. I've Yay. known her for a lot of years. So, <laughs> um, I got to go with the Black Canary. Partially because I was a music major, partially because I understand the deep-seated temper that she has, and OMG, I love, 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 love her freaking awesome outfits. If only I had that power when I got ticked off and yelled. I know her, and I do not want her to have that power. (laughs) I agree on the awesome freaking outfits. Mm. I'm just going to put that out there. I agree with the scream power. That, that too. Cool to have. Yes. Yeah, I've I've never yeah, liked it no when it's wouldn't. augmented by like <laughs> science. I liked it when it's just like a mute. It's like a uh, mutation. A mutation mm-hmm. more than I, I've never liked the you know well she, how they have it in the Arrowverse. Arrowverse. She's got I don't box. like that. I like it being a natural thing. Mm-hmm. Well, the current Black Canary I think is uh, yeah, it's natural. Yeah, yeah. She's yeah she has di- Dinah. Yeah, yeah Dinah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I came up on those shows a long time ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I will be watching the Crisis though. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, and because of her name, she'll always get put on every time. Crystal Midget. Yeah. Uh, one of the, okay, this one's kind of shallow, but Poison Ivy, because she's hot and also independent and girl power, but she's also drawn alluringly. It says any time that she, uh, she's with Harley is amazing. Mm-hmm. Well, it's the, she's no, she has she's dangerous too like especially with her like she now she's part of the green she's part of like the concert like swamp things type of thing as well too she, yeah, no, very oh. underestimated with her mm-hmm. very much green? depends on really? who writes her she's hmm. very hot i've really. seen her written terribly in one side and i've seen her written great it, batman hush oh yeah yeah <laughs> well that's a different story altogether never feel sorry for thinking a character's hot I oh, don't. I, do. <laughs> I, I like Wonder do. Woman. It's not just because she's strong. <laughs> right? Todd, the voice of the show, have to say Barbara Gordon, insanely hot, a quote-unquote great bat girl, and even after her spine being broken and being relegated to a wheelchair, never gives up, while helping Batman by becoming the Oracle. Gutsy and gorgeous. Well said. And that was an excellent choice. finally... Uh, Dino from the Who podcast. I, that's another one I just really like saying. Um, and we love it when you do. I know. I know you do. That's why I say it. Please never stop. And, uh, and, uh, and I do, I do got to say, if you're into the horror genre, he, it's, it's a really interesting uh, listen if you guys get a chance. It's a, it's a very conversational show. Uh, it says, Batman, Gordon. Uh, sorry, Barbara Gordon, Batgirl, Oracle. <laughs> wow, that, it must be tired. Yeah. Right? <laughs> um, intelligent, vigilant, and I got a thing for redheads. Don't tell my wife, which of course he just said on air. So Everybody awesome. Everybody knows now. <laughs> redheads are pretty great. I will. Yeah. I will give him. I like They're awesome. And I gotta say this. <laughs> Big misstep in the Killing Joke movie with having her well, have a thing with it Batman. Did. It was yeah. 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 Oh, and that true. ruined just it. not bring it yeah. up. Mm. Oh, it we all know. so <laughs> bad. And also, I'd say a good 95% of males have things for redheads. So it's really not a big secret. I, I, I think that's way under underestimated. I, <laughs> I like people. As a brunette, I feel sorry for those other 5%. <laughs> brunettes are hot too <laughs> we can't be okay so um thanks everybody for for uh putting in your 
um, feedback. We appreciate it a lot. It makes our show so much better. I, w- I want to take this one little moment. I think I put it up on Facebook uh, a couple of days ago. <laughs> um, our friend of the show, Satomi, Satomi mm-hmm. Hoffman, yes. is she just announced that she is going to be working with Mar- Marvel for one of the podcasts. I uh, She has not said any information She's on not what's going to. on. Not allowed to. Crossing fingers, she hopefully will be paying, playing a female superhero. We nice. love so, Satomi. Yes. She so, is a female superhero. Congratulations. <laughs> we, we love it. And yeah, awesome. Congrats. First interview with yeah, us, please. Great. We love you, Satomi. <laughs> nice. Okay, so let's move on to our main event. Now it's time for the main event. For this main event, we named our top five favorite female characters from the DC Detective Comics universe. I wanted to sound smarter by saying that. See what you did there? You need all the help you can get. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm not the sharpest crayola in the box. Sometimes when you win, you lose. (laughs) Wow. You oh. just became the sharpest Creole in the box compared to what was going on over there. Mm. I, I'm so, glad I had to walk away from gray, that, that section. I thought it stood for dark and cool. <laughs> okay, so my number five is going to be from the Green Lantern universe, and that would be Aresia. I've mentioned her before. Not the best well-known, most well-known character, but as far as the Green Lantern universe, I, I find her really interesting. She's more interesting to me than... Any of the females that the Earth Lanterns have put up, just a r- interesting backstory. I like that we've seen her grow up over the last thirty years in comics. Just a great character, um, very cool look to her. Very different from the rest of Green Lanterns, um, but definitely has that innocence and still that fortitude to really be a just, it's just a great character. Nice. So I say I don't know how many of you guys are into that one, but you have to dig a little bit into the Green Lantern universe. Uh, nice. I I didn't necessarily like her dating Hal Jordan, but no, that's no, a no, no, story. no, no. Yeah. Well, that was weird because we saw her when she was sixteen, seventeen yeah. years old. But they weren't dating when she was sixteen or seventeen. But we re- always remember her being. It that. was yeah. the inspiration for the Killing Joke movie. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> wah wah. All right, that was two. <laughs> Mr. Blythe. Uh, my number five is Artemis from Young Justice. Oh, great character! Uh, yeah, I think she um, really added a layer of death to that show, um, where she kind of teetered on being bad. Was she good? Like it really mm-hmm. it gave it that extra layer that made that show really great. Well, she made if the first two seasons. It would have been dropped if without that character. Yeah, she mm-hmm. was the glue. Yep. Is she the Artemis that's an Amazon? No, no, no. no, no, no. Oh, okay, because that like one ended up being one female Wonder Green Arrow time. sort of. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. son okay. of Game Master okay. and sister of Cheshire. Cheshire, Cheshire. Yeah. Oh, my turn, Huntress. Ah. Which version? Uh. <laughs> there, there's a couple of versions you can go for. You can go. Okay, with, so there's the six of them. I gotta tell you that I really just like the Huntress in the Arrowverse. <laughs> There you go. All right. I really yeah. like the actress. They picked the perfect actress. I'm not a, I'm not as up on her in my comic book reading as I should be, but she's very cool in the Arrowverse. So. Daughter of mobsters. Yeah, well, she's in, the daughter of mobsters, or the daughter of Batman. In Earth the two, she's she's the she's the daughter of Catwoman and. Batman. I'm yeah. having a little crisis on Infinite Earths at the moment. <laughs> no, it, it, it's actually a, in it's the, really a well-written story. In the Arrowverse, she's the daughter of mobsters. Yeah, that, that's that's the one that, yeah, I believe she's if in we the watch Justice League, yeah. Justice League Unlimited, that's the version that you have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like that short temper. I don't like that she never seemed to pull it up another gear. She kind of stuck with, um, with the question, and that was yeah. really as high as she could ever go um again with what we we're talking about like i love female characters that stand on their own without the question she's not as interesting a character so that's why i have a little trouble with her mm-hmm. but all the same very interesting character she's great fun. team she's mm-hmm. fun mm-hmm. i'd like to see a comic with her in question actually mm-hmm. Ooh, wow can we make this happen dc people uh my number five is with young justice as well with the outsiders uh halo mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, okay. I've, yeah. I've just I've just been watching her. I don't necessarily know her in the comic version in the comic realm, but in uh, Young Justice, I just I love her character. It's a, she's she's kind of grown on me. Where she just she's trying to figure out her powers, mm-hmm. and but she, like she kind of has different ones for different things. She can fly. She can use a shield. She can regenerate herself. She's just kind of like she, what she's a one stop shop. She's a one one man army basically. Well, but th- that's 
going to be a part of the problem with her. I mean, I don't think that we've seen her for more than three years, I think, as far as mm-hmm. comics and everything. She, it's going to be really difficult writing for her because she's got the Superman effect. I mean, you got to make the people around her so powerful because she can do everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, it, it doesn't seem like there's a downside. Her emotional stuff, yes, but as far as her powers go, it's a little That's- it's a little difficult to... to Long term, yeah. I've, I haven't, I haven't like finished up the series. Yet. Well, it's still ongoing, but right now I'm at the part where she's like, I guess she's she something. She's not her powers are going away. She's dying. Oh, yeah. So I don't know. Keep watching. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but yeah. Um, as I say, that I don't like when they write characters as too powerful. Mm-hmm. Unless you're Superman or Wonder Woman, yeah. there's you can't right. You know, because otherwise it gets real old real fast. That's why people don't read Superman for more than a year at a time. Mm-hmm. Unless you're Carl. <laughs> well, Carl's a mutant. <laughs> yeah. I am hanging out in the Arrowverse with Courtney, and my number five is Felicity uh, Overwatch. Mm, okay. Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay. Very good. Did you say I had two strikes? Yeah. Yes. Uh, what was my first one? See, I don't even know. I'm I don't like, remember anymore. Okay. It's been so, long. <laughs> so null and void, strike one. Um, okay, my number five, I, a theme that plays itself uh, in my list three times is evil women with a code of honor. Mm-hmm. So the first one is Talia Al Ghul. Nice. Um, yeah. the, first of all, the Al Ghul family mm-hmm. in general is just mm-hmm. probably third in my whole ranking of, of overall Batman villains and interactive gallery, characters yeah. and that whole thing. Um, but her, especially as the mother of Damien. Mm hmm. Unless in some other verse, it's not the case. But um, no, she always is. Okay, good. And you know, kind of the the pull between her father and mm-hmm. Batman is very interesting. And then it's really interesting what she chose to do with Damien, like having him raise where he was, and then to give him to Bruce was yeah one of the most brilliant comic moves I've ever seen for a character. So yeah. Now, I mean, I, I could say that I, I thought she was a very cool character until I did see what happened with her and Damien. How do you do that to your child? Well, I mean, no, her no, father is I mean, they're, they're all They're all insane. Yeah, she's an Al Ghul. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she's an Al Ghul. I mean, it, it, was all, it was, I don't know how much you read those comics when you Some first Some of them, started. yeah. Deeply disturbing. Yeah. You know, and then just, yep, oh, this guy's your father. Here you go. Yeah. Yeah. And not even made the old fashioned way. He didn't even get a choice in it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so what do we got? Number four? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Number four. Okay. My number four is Amanda Waller. Not Skinny Waller. I like the wall. I like the tank. I like the the woman that does takes zero crap from anyone who Batman is afraid of, who the president answers to. That's the Amanda Waller I like. I love her in the cartoon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah she's just, amazing. Just hardcore. And you don't really know why, but she's just... She's got that that X factor. She can stand before Batman and not flinch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's why mm-hmm. Batman know? will blink. Yeah, yeah, which is a really cool thing. And um, I don't know if you've read much on her history. She was a um, she waited till her kids all got out of the house, and then when the the youngest one turned eighteen, she locked her door, went off, and because she said, "This is my mission. I'm I'm done with this part." I'm on to my next part. Didn't talk to her kids ever again. Didn't talk to her family. Just boom. This is what I'm doing. I've done my job here. Now I'm doing the job that I was born for, which is kind of an interesting take. Hmm? You know, it was responsible without being responsible, I guess. You know, you should just follow your dreams and just <laughs> go, no go, you go where your heart is calling you. And my dream mm-hmm. is to make Batman stand down. <laughs> to, 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 to rule the world under it. the guise of, of not, of, you know, just being there in Argus. plain sight. But Argus. she never wanted to rule the world. And I think that, you know, you take away all the garbage and she would truly be a patriot. She's trying to do what she thinks is best for the country oh, at yeah. all times. And would I agree with most of it? No. But she was always trying to do what was best for the country. Well, just just the suicide. Just being the, suicide being, being the, being the uh, orchestrator of, of the suicide squad. And, but you know, superheroes or villains are coming coming and going in there. It's like, yeah, if uh, we planted something, if you don't, if you want to do it, we'll kill you. Mm-hmm. Well, it's it's almost um, you know psychological deep di- deep right. dive on that. On a emotional level, no one on earth could do that. On a strictly logical level, that's the best thing you could possibly do is make the Suicide Squad and the way they do it. But on an, an, a, on a mo- emotional moral level, you couldn't do it. No. But that's that's what's interesting about Amanda Waller. See, that's why I like the character because and 
no one else defines Amanda Waller but Amanda Waller. Mm-hmm. That's, to me, such a great character. Uh, my number four is uh, Raven. Uh, she's got a really cool power set. Um, I and loved her in the first version of Teen Titans. Yeah. Uh, I think that's where I was first introduced to her. Um, but just like her kind of battle with the darkness, and she also is one of those characters where it's like she could easily be swayed to a bad side in a, in a minute. Mm-hmm. Um but she doesn't. She she holds it back and she takes control when it comes down to it most of the time. So nice. Talia al Ghul says, oh, my father is terrible and da 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 and Raven says, hold my beer. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh, um, did you guys watch the um, Teen Titans movie? The, Teen um, Titans Go to the Movie. No, to not, not the <laughs> Teen Titans. The, it was the... Uh, Justice League versus Teen Titans versus... Yeah. The, yeah. Just, you, now that what seeing her origin story, that was twisted mm-hmm. and dark. The rest of the movie I would do didn't care for much but that story was so dark mm-hmm. i thought it was kind of amazing it how was, that they of, let that happen in the kind of universe. a trigon of darkness <laughs> <laughs> and then some okay my number four is cheetah um there's mm-hmm. been a couple but i'm talking original old school barbara minerva cheetah mm-hmm. um, wonder woman's greatest foe if she has a greatest foe um, I'd say it is. Yeah, it's, she's Cheetah's Cersei and Cheetah are considered her two biggest foes, but Cheetah I think is the number one because they have a really symbiotic relationship um, mm. where Wonder Woman can't seem to kill her even if she's got a chance to. Um, I'm really interested to see how Kristen Wiig plays her in the movie i was gonna ask live that. action scares mm. me with cheetah. well my problem is is i'm not a huge Kristen wig fan to begin with mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um but going into that i was not a gail gadot fan until i was one of those like oh she can't play wonder woman and now i'm singing her <laughs> praises from here until doomsday so i'm gonna wait and see what patty jenkins can get out of her yeah and then i i think in Patty, we trust. Yeah, <laughs> that's how it's going to be. A lot so. of faith in Patty. I got the doomsday yeah. thing. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm really excited, but like I've seen some of the some of the images that are coming yeah, out. Yeah, it it looks legit. Like yeah. Kristen Wiig looks really good. Yeah, mm. I'm really buying her. At least a Barbara Minerva. I haven't mm-hmm. seen any. They have released no cheetah stills yet. Mm-hmm. Just Barbara Minerva, and I'm kind of. I want there's one thing I want them to study, and that is the an animated. It's not really even cheetah in it. It's an image of her on, um, I believe it was Justice League Babel. I know that was the comic. I don't know if that was the name of the movie. Oh, um, uh, oh man. Doom. Doom. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, when Wonder Woman is fighting everyone because that is her greatest enemy and she will eventually yes. die from fighting her. Right. Mm-hmm. If you watch her hatred towards that character, that that's all they need to base the movie on. If they yeah. watch that for like, on a loop for a day, they can't get it wrong. And is, I, is I don't think it was hatred, though. I think it was just, it was her fighting, her warrior spirit. Like yeah, she, yeah. The, yeah. yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. It was almost a death. I'd say it was more than hatred, but it was. Yeah. This yeah, is what I want them to bad. watch. Yeah. I think there's a relatability between the two characters, and I think that's why they mm-hmm. never seem to finish finish it. You know, because either of them. Yeah, because they mean, both have the opportunity. When she's got the power of the cheetah, Barbara Minerva is, is nigh on unstoppable. Mm-hmm. Um, and there have been times when she's just laid waste to Wonder Woman, but doesn't kill her. And it's the same thing with Wonder Woman. Is Wonder Woman has just gotten the upper hand and just destroyed the pants off of her, but she's never killed her. I mean, it's one of those that for it's the just until the end of time, they're always going to be fighting. And I think if you were going to say she's like the Joker to Batman yeah. and to Lex mm-hmm. Luthor to Superman. Mm-hmm. But no one's ever really quantified Wonder Woman's villains like that before. Right. Right. So. Yeah. Uh, my number four is a Green Lantern as well, uh, Boudica, which you probably oh, know from the, uh, First She Flight. almost made my list. From First Flight, she is a, she is a, she's a princess of, a, of, a, of an alien, alien planet. Um, the... I'm t- it was an old time, old time um, alien force came in to like lay waste to hit her father's kingdom, and it looked like he was about to lose. Uh, their Green Lantern actually was killed in the event, and the ring went to her instead of her father. 
Is that you got with Budokai? Yeah, nice. <laughs> and she is she is a, a warrior a warrior princess as well. But she yeah, is she's had yeah. some kind of ups and downs. Oh yeah. The, uh, she's she's I think is she no she's dead now. Isn't she's she? dead. She yeah. she came back with Blackest Night, but they never brought her <laughs> yeah. back. Yeah, she's unfortunately, her rage. Now. Yeah, her her rage got the better of her, and she became a Red Lantern. And then from there, she once once you you if you take off the Red Lantern ring. You're you're dead. It mm-hmm. kills you. So unfortunately, but, but great great character build up, great character arc throughout the, throughout the years. She yes. also beat out um, Guy Gardner to be honor guard. Oh, nice. There was okay. ten of them, and she she's the one that beat out Guy, which was a good thing because they ended up getting all uh, cyborged up. But yeah, that she was a better lantern than Guy, mm-hmm. and that's saying something. Mm-hmm. Um, my number four is Poison Ivy, especially nice. the more recent iterations mm-hmm. in the comics and the animated series. Not the Uma Thurman? We do not discuss the Uma Thurman <laughs> one. Um, <laughs> we'll just pretend that never happened. Freeze, darling. Um, and, yeah, I was almost going to say that, but I knew I'd get strike three. You would have so probably gotten smacked, yeah. yeah. I'm allowed to. You're not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, no, um, I, I like I like her character. I like, yeah, I, obviously she's hot. Like, there's no two ways about that, and she's fun to cosplay as. But I will say that I like the way that she is almost... Like, she can do fine without a man, completely, but when she's in a relationship, she has the upper hand. Like, I mean, it may just be because of her lipstick, but but she doesn't she doesn't get dominated by anyone and i kind of like that but her and harley together is that that's the best perfection. for both of them complete perfection mm-hmm. yeah definitely all right uh we're only on number 4 wow mm-hmm. uh my number 4 another evil woman with the code lady shiva um the one of the top 3 martial artists in dc mm-hmm. um you know batman's enemy batman's ally you know depending on the situation Train Tim Drake. Um, she's just very fascinating. Yeah. Um, and isn't she Cassandra Kane's uh, mom? Who? Was she? Cassandra Kane. Who are we talking about? Lady Shiva? Lady Shiva. Isn't she Cassandra Kane's mom? Uh, I'm going on record good. that at least in some iteration of the one DC universe somewhere. I don't she remember. Is, you know, uh, in the Cassandra. multiverse, something is yeah, always she is Somebody Kane tweet no, PB with that. Song. Song. I know. Somebody give us that. She's answer. that too. <laughs> right. Nice. Okay, so on to number three. We're going to have to pick these up a little bit. Sorry if I'm racing now, guys. But next one up would be one Shaira Hot Girl. Um, now, as I say, I try not to pick characters that are, you know, defined by the male they're with, and she never was. There's a Hawk man, there's a Hawk woman, and the, I, like them, I like them better together. They have but, to exist together. Mm. But individually, both fascinating characters and Shaira, especially you know the Justice League stuff when she was with um, John Stewart. with John Stewart, yeah. fascinating, and then the love triangle after that, mm-hmm. just a great, great, great character. Um, you know, looks aside, just a, an interesting backstory. You can go back three hundred years of her history, and it's fascinating every time. And, and oh, to me, like as I was, that was I was I was almost putting I was about to put her on my list as well too, but. To me, like what, yeah, Wonder Wonder Woman is amazing, but Hawk Girl is like the Spartan of of the DC universe. Like she, I I don't I think she might be able to go unless they've done it before. I think she might be able to be Wonder Woman. No, I really. I, no. I, 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 is that she, is that bias talking? Or if she you has know the mostly, but at no. Least, <laughs> no one can actually. At least toe to toe. At least Wonder she would. She can hold her own with Wonder Woman. She could probably hold her if own. If she I has the mace, that. she's going to beat her. Yeah, if she if she. I'd say she could hold her own against her. Right. She won't be able to beat her, but she could definitely. Well, we did go see the other picks. Would. We did <laughs> yeah. see the Rocky three punch at the end of mm. Justice League when those two did the yeah. punch together. Right. That's yeah. all you see. You never see yeah. who wins because that is a hot enough contention. Yeah. To- mm-hmm. uh, my number three is Black Canary. Uh, I think Which she's. Version? Um. I like the Injustice version. Nice. Um, I like how in that storyline you have um, the different characters come from different universes, and in one universe, Black Canary is married to Arrow, and right. in the right. other one, she can't stand him. So right. when those mm-hmm. kind of meet, it's mm-hmm. it's just a funny like playoff. Um, but I think she's becoming a real staple of just the DC universe. It's yeah. it's hard to really see anything new that they're creating without her in it. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah. And and like she, well, because she's my number three as well, so oh. I'll jump on with you. That and she, she's basically like the the trainer. She's the fighting mm-hmm. trainer of the entire Justice League um, 
uh, canon. Um, and yeah, she 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 has her voice powers, but as far as like physical strength and like she doesn't have speed or flight or anything like that, she just has her voice. But she, as a tactician, she can take she can hang with the big boys, mm-hmm. and she's taken down big boys as well. And a great mm-hmm. version, if you ever check it out, is um, the All Star Batman. Um, she's Irish, right? I know a lot. It, that's some people hate. It. I love it. I loved her portrayal in that. It was it, she was almost a new character, but not. Yeah, um, definitely worth checking out just for her. And I think Blyze would agree with me. If you really want to check out all of her outfits, uh, go to Injustice Two and play yes. the game because <laughs> and she buy has all the at DLC. least forty. I think yeah. she has forty of them in there. <laughs> Uh, number three is Batwoman, Kate right. Kane. Nice. Um, she's just, I love the current um, iteration of her because she's just, she's a booty kicker and I really like mm-hmm, that. Mm-hmm. And I'm really excited to see Ruby Rose in the TV yes. show. Yes. I think that was really I really hope they do casting. it justice. I really hope. I hope they, they don't do it injustice. <laughs> yeah. I think, yeah, yeah, I think the casting is, I think Ruby Rose is a very inspired choice to play that woman. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've, I've, I've mentioned my, uh, my leeriness, but I, I will hold you off have to judgment. Watch, you have to watch um, the the crossover episodes I'm, I'm where they introduce her yeah and she's she nails the the Kate Keen thing as, and as, then her interactions with Supergirl in that are pretty good mm-hmm. as long as she's better than she was in Orange is the New Black where she was terrible I think she will um, be yeah. <clears throat> I, hope so. yeah. I hope so I hope so Black Canary number three Katie <laughs> <laughs> number three I have Batgirl Oracle Oracle nice um, nice. Yeah, not the Killing Joke one, but all of the other mm-hmm. iterations of her. Well, Killing Joke was absolutely fantastic if you're not taking the movie into account. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. cuz I mean that's that's really the definition the movie was of absolutely horrifying. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But great character all the way yeah, around. She's fantastic. You know, I going love, all the way back, yeah. you don't see most of the animated stuff when they're talking Batman without seeing Batgirl and she is always just so brilliant and it really brings she brings more life to the character than Robin does. Yeah, you know, but she could never be the full sidekick either, which well, I think is an interesting because she she's torn between because Commissioner Gordon is her father, mm-hmm. so I mean she has to kind of live that she's got to and he does he know she's well she In he knows that she's Oracle now, but yeah, yeah. like for at, for at many time, decades yeah, she, like, she did. like Commissioner Gordon didn't know that Barbara was doing that. That's right? one thing mm-hmm. I hated about the the Batman. The movie where they had Alicia Silverstone play Batman. Oh, oh they made yeah. that was Alfred's, an, Alfred's niece. And I'm like, nope, yeah. don't mess that far back with yeah. the actors. Yeah. Schumacher. I, um, I, I, I share that. Katie's number three with uh, Barbara Gordon. Hmm. Um, the most fascinating thing to me about her is they took a very popular character and did something horrible to her, mm-hmm. and she came back stronger mm-hmm. and more important. Yeah. So that is quite an accomplishment, and I give them credit for that. Nice. My number two, I will wait on because it's the same as Jason's, so we'll do his at the end. Okay. Uh, my number two is Vixen. Um, Great character. I mm. like how the character is a more of a mantle than it is a specific mm-hmm. character. You have a lot of them that are passed down from generation to generation. Um, I really liked what they did in the show with her, um, including mm-hmm. Legends. The only thing that I... Um, would have preferred that they do is not a lot of people know it, but Vixen was introduced in a cartoon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then she just kinda like showed up in the air in Arrow for yeah. one episode. She so it was awesome. like if you hadn't seen that cartoon, she just kinda like came out of nowhere. Yeah. Um but yeah, I, I love the power set. Yeah. Like. <laughs> well, and they kinda did that. they did that for a while because I remember Bronze Tiger was the same way that they just popped yeah. in there and mm-hmm. people were like, well, who is that? But if you look at the comics, like he's, the, I think he was a Batman character, but then yeah. Arrow the got a little bit. The cartoon was yeah. doing so well that they decided to make her a live make action. Make her a real person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and she show. was great. She did yeah. do great. And like I said, the power set is really unique. I, mm-hmm. I like it. Uh, number two is Mira. Great, ca- nice. great character Any, all the way around. Anybody who has hydrokinesis and makes me happy except for <laughs> except for the aquaman one right except yeah. when amber heard plays her yeah she's fantastic yeah, yeah. not Just, not counting the movie i got all the hot redheads can make she's the list like the little oh, mermaid with superpowers, so i heard I'm on okay facebook that. that she was gonna play mara jade 
We'll fight about that later. <laughs> nice. I'm so on the couch tonight. <laughs> uh, my number two, who has went toe to toe with uh, Wonder Woman and has beaten her, Big Barda. Which is yes. Almost my number two. <laughs> the Fury, the, the head of the Furies. Yes. And Big, not talked Big about Barda. enough. Yeah. Her, her stuff with Mister Tor- uh, Mister Miracle. Mister Miracle. Mr. Miracle. Just brilliant. Yeah, just the, just the whole love affair, and just yeah, just somebody that you you don't you don't like you. She doesn't want cheese on her hamburger. She does not get cheese on her no. hamburger. Yeah, you do mm-hmm. not mess with Big Barda. No. Yes. Yep. Everybody loves Big Barda. It'd Very be nice if they should. could actually bring her into the cinematic universe in some fashion. <sighs> I don't know if they to can. set her apart from Wonder Woman. Right? I think Sunday a lot of people. Yeah, that's so. what everybody <laughs> thinks is that that when they see her, they think on she's Wonder animated, Woman. They think that's Wonder Woman or Wonder Woman's sister. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No. yeah. But it'd be nice to set her apart. I love Big Murder. Uh, my number two is Catwoman. Uh, literally every TV show, every movie, every Except book. Except for the Halle Berry one? Every TV show, every movie, every book. Wow. <laughs> oh. I've seen her She's in. She's down on the bottom. That <laughs> I have seen her in, I have enjoyed her. Oh, so we haven't seen that one. I did not watch that movie. I missed it. I don't know. I was busy that day. I don't blame you. (laughs) (laughs) She watched it and then surgically got it removed. (laughs) That was actually shared. That's just Catwoman. Catwoman makes my number two, your number two. Just fantastic. Yeah, very interesting. Um, uh, The Michelle Pfeiffer version Mm -hmm. was really Mm. great. Actually, Mm -hmm. to I mean, not exactly like her, but still really a great interpretation. So good. Um, to bring her more mm-hmm. to the forefront, and I think that since the that iteration, she's had more push, yeah. which is good. But I do want to be on the record. I think her and her and Bruce need to break up. I think that's made her character so stale. I, at first, it was fascinating, but I'm like, okay, I think we've gone as far as we can go with this. There's, I want to see her on her own again. They're supposed to be a love and hate. They're not supposed to be love all yeah. the time. Well, the, well, the <laughs> new, the new, the the with the House of Bane. That's yeah. City of Bath- that the, Well, even the whole wedding thing when she like left him at the altar, that was all mm-hmm. a ruse. It, like it was all well, made up. a part of the plan. But I wanted to, wanted to ask you, Dub, did you see when uh, the new animated Hush came out that one of her cats she named him Eartha? Or she? It, yeah. The cat really, I didn't notice nice. that. We're like, so ah, that's that's clever. Nice. That's cute. That I makes like that. me happy. Well, that's to stop Bruce Wayne in case he ever gets mad. It's Martha. Eartha. 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 Oh, Eartha. 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 Yeah, oh, that I did notice. Yeah, that was Taking fantastic. Taking your Catwoman badge back? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, so my number one um, I'm sharing with Katie, yes. and that should be no surprise to anyone that's listened to this Big show. Barda? No, it's perhaps the greatest <laughs> Hoobie 2 the ever. The Silver Banshee. Oh, get oh, out of here. Yes. One Harleen Quinzel. Um, it's honestly amazing Quinn. how much you can milk this character to further your career on this show. <laughs> My career? What? <laughs> Who's Harleen Quinzel? To further your yeah. credibility. Who's that? No, I'm kidding. You're going to sleep on the couch for a month. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Katie's kidding. I know. She's fine. Provided like your her. key still works in the oh. door. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she's just a fascinating. Honestly, I mean, we, we've done full shows on her. She's, to me, just one of the most fascinating characters, male, female, doesn't matter, one of the most fascinating characters in all of DC. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Meh. Yeah. I, I mean, it was a no-brainer. Nobody even had to ask me what my number one was. It was like, oh, we're doing DC? Okay, Katie's going to have a Harley. So, so which one? Yeah. Which, what's your favorite? Which one is my favorite? Oh, my goodness. Okay, I love her in the DC animated movies, well, like, but Margot Robbie is fantastic. There you go. All right. okay. She's absolutely fantastic, and I love her very much. And that's just all I have. I to very say much about pick that. and choose between a lot of them. So I yeah, mean, I like the, the I just, original costume. I like. I even love I like. the new Fifty Two yeah. version. Sorry, Blaze, but I do. <laughs> she's fantastic. She's, yeah, I love. Her. I, I I think she's got a little too hot topicy, but I think it's some of the comic stuff has been really clever. Like uh, they have just like nods to Howard Stern and all sorts of stuff that she wears. That's like. No other character could get away with it. I just mm-hmm. absolutely love that. Nice. Uh, my number one would definitely be Harley Quinn in a fight, and that would be Katana. <laughs> okay, not not yeah, if you put her up against who? Oh no, definitely one hundred percent would. Now, now you can all keep saying it's about me. <laughs> you all but if you take up. her sword away, still would beat her. Oh, fine. <laughs> 
<laughs> to be um, fair, she'd probably be Batman. So you know. yeah, just a really, um, really deep character. I wish they would have went more into it when they introduced her into Suicide Squad. Oh, I was, just think it was just misused um, was, in that movie. Windows, yeah, yeah, exactly. it was. The whole movie was misused. Yeah, she was, great in, yeah, no. <laughs> she was um, great in Arrowverse, though. Yes, she was yeah, great in Arrowverse. Um, but yeah, I I would love to see her used more within. Um, the DC uh, movie universe, mm-hmm. um, and hopefully we just see her pop up some more. They could even put her back in the Arrowverse, and I'd be mm-hmm. fine with that. The yeah. actress for Suicide Squad was fantastic. Yeah. They just no. gave her literally they nothing. Did to nothing do with her. Yeah, yeah, that, that yeah. was that was right. uh, that was a shame that what they did. Yeah. Yeah. They needed her in there, but yeah, it yeah. could have been Slipknot for all we cared. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I know this is going to come as a complete and total shock <gasps> to everyone. Oh Miss Marvel, my number one. <laughs> I like Miss Marvel. <laughs> My number one is Princess Diana. <gasps> <gasps> we're all what? in shock. I thought you were going to say Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. <laughs> Su- Suprema? Like Suprema. Like Suprema? <laughs> Princess Hippolyta's Diana daughter? of Thymosphere. <laughs> Why? Which, which Wonder we've, Woman. <laughs> we've mentioned once or twice on this show. Right, like I don't even need Dude. to go into it. I think it we've, got, we've got, we got we it all now. Y'all got right? it now. <laughs> Just <laughs> check out the Facebook page. Right. <laughs> I have on my notes, Courtney right. Hobbs. Mm. Right. <laughs> so my it's number my one is is quite obvious, the Enchantress. Excuse you? <laughs> <laughs> He's lying. You read that wrong. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm going to do a tie because I was going to use her as my honorable mention, but I'm going to jump her up to number one as well. So uh, my number one originally was uh, Supergirl, Kara mm-hmm. zor mm-hmm. Just amazing story arc. Just, j- just as strong, if not stronger than Superman. She could take care of herself and her development in the TV series, movies, sort of movies. Um, and, and the comic books and animation has been great. But I do want to give a nice stern number one to Miss Lois Lane. Mm-hmm. Yep. Good just, call. Good you call. know, going from being the damsel in distress that Superman has to save to saving his hide on multiple occasions and uh, you know, uh, burying his child and where she is now, she doesn't take no guff from anybody. At you got You got to give her. You know, number one. Nice. Yep. Can you read my mind? <laughs> and uh, as you were you also talk Harley about? Quinn, um, I share the same number one with Miss Geeky Page hmm? uh, in Wonder Woman, Wonder who Wonder. I th- who I think is the greatest character. Kind of ever like created. the. What? Oh my God! They're all spitting. I don't want to separate her <laughs> completely into a female character. I mean, I do think she's the epitome of what a female character should be, but I also think she's the epitome of what a hero should what be. She's yeah. actually, yeah. Right. she's actually more truly noble and heroic than uh, on par with Superman. I mean, mm-hmm. as far as being like truly she's good got dark yeah. and noble, where Superman doesn't have them. Yeah, this right. yeah, a little bit of the darkness difference, yeah. but she's still. A heart of pure, yeah. you know, heroism. And I'm absolutely. Wrong. Yes, absolutely. That's why <laughs> she's part of the Trinity. Mm-hmm. And that was a show. Sorry to cut it off. It seems like this could have gone like another hour. Mm-hmm. I apologize, Probably but got to do what we got to well, do. It's going to go another hour because we all have to say goodbye. Oh, well, that's, <laughs> that's going to take about a minute and a half. So check out the website, www.iheartgeekshow.com. Use the com. We, we paid, paid extra, extra for it. it. Thank you. Uh, go to the Facebook. Go to the Twitter. Go to the Instagram. Go to the YouTube. Go to Spotify. Go to iTunes. Uh, where, wherever you are. Smoke signals. Uh, give us uh, comments on stuff. Cerebro. That helps a lot, actually. Especially like <laughs> iTunes. Put put the little comments on there. Give us five stars. That's and it. if you mean four stars, just put five. Brother I. Like that. Just go everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> and until next time, I'm Dub. I'm Blize. I'm Miss Geeky Page. I'm Kaj. I'm Katie May. I made it out alive without three strikes. Hey. <laughs> and I'm PB and Jason. Keep, Keep on geeking on. on. No, guys, seriously, stop spinning. Stop, stop spin. You're, you're going to fall down if you didn't stop. stop. <laughs> You've been listening to I Heart Geek. Our Twitter account is at I Heart Geek Show. Hope you enjoyed the show. 